What do you think it is? Stylus? Pen. Hmm. Hey, this is Scott Weinkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're talking about another photography everyday carry. Yes, the EDC of photography. Let's get into it. In the first photography EDC, I talked about the flashlight that I have with me whenever I'm photographing at night out and about, or if I'm going to be out for the full day. And I also shared the headlamp that I have for when I know that I'm going to be in trails or anything like that where there are no lights. But today we're talking about some pen-sized items. Some of them are really pen-sized, some of them are a little bit bigger than a pen. Speaking of pens, there's this one, the Fisher Space Pen, but this one in particular is a stylus for an iPad or an iPhone so you or your clients can do signatures on their digital model release or property release or any release that you need, any contracts you can have signed digitally and comfortably instead of a finger, they got a pen using this. But when you open it up, you can flip it around and you got a full size pen and this is a Fisher space pen which means it can actually write upside down. I believe it can even write underwater. I haven't really tested that out but I mean that's pretty cool if it really can write underwater but uh, I like that it's very compact and it's built very well and uh, it feels pretty sturdy when you open it up. It's got some a lot of weight to this end and it writes really well. So this is always with me when I'm out making photographs. Now I know that a lot of photographers keep lens cloths with them and I agree you definitely should have at least one lens cloth with you but I also think you should have a lens pen and this is not something you would literally put in your pocket this is something you would throw in your camera bag it takes up very little space because it is a pen sized item and the nice thing is you flip this up right here and you got a brush and dust off any dust on your lens and on this side you got a little sort of like a felty fabric type thing that'll actually squeegee off any any marks that are kind of sticking to your lens and not coming off so easily. Very simple product. So many companies make these, but the original is called Lens Pen. This one happens to be branded Olympus. I probably got it at a trade show or something, and I've had it all of these years. Last and definitely not least is my personal favorite, and this is the MTX tool from Really Write Stuff. This has multiple purposes. You can see that there's this red little dial under here. I can turn this. I open it up and then inside are all of these bits and a hex key, which is not your average size hex key, but it is the right size hex key for a lot of tripods, especially the really right stuff tripods. But you can see it's uh, got a little short nub on the end instead of it being a little bit longer. Then there are other bits, other hex size bits that you can uh, take advantage of. You can take out a bit and throw it right in the end, which is magnetic, by the way. You can close this back up. You grab your tripod and just stick it in there and you can tighten any size hex that your tripod might have. Super handy, very compact, it's not heavy, but what I absolutely love about this besides the convenience is that I can literally take off my ball head from the top of my tripod, put this on here and lift it up a little bit more and it's super sturdy. There's a giant piece of metal sticking through this, keeping it nice and sturdy, nice and strong. So I'll just unscrew the ball head. I'll then screw this on top. Now this is not extremely practical, but in a worst case scenario when you really need it, that extra little bit of height, I got the extra little bit of height. The MTX tool. Now I'm not saying you need to get the one from Really Right Stuff. There's a lot of companies who make similar products, but I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I think even Small Rig has one that's more of a pocket knife style one, but I already had this, so I'm not gonna go get another. I wanna hear from you. Comment underneath this video and let me know what type of products, what type of tools, what type of things do you leave with you, do you have on you with as your everyday carry for photography? And don't forget to click that subscribe button, karate kick the notification bell, hit the like button, all those fun things so you get the next video. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday. You don't want to miss it.